Hi, welcome to the Maxi Climber workout. The hardest thing that's probably about this workout was just taking that big giant step getting on. But as you know, you can stop and start at any time. We're gonna do a workout today that involves six different positions. A tiny st small step position, which we're doing right now to warm up the body. Again, the great thing about the Maxi Climber, it works with your body. The size of the stride that you want to take, the speed of the stride that you want to take. So throw on some of your favorite music. Let's work out together in less than 20 minutes. You're going to feel more energized. You're going to do something great for your body. And again, let's just follow along. Work out with me, and again, modify according to your needs. If you want to stay with this size of stride for the whole workout, fantastic. Next time, you might want to try and make a bigger step, but I'm going to show you six different positions. Right now, position one is a nice warm-up position. Nice, small strides, and again, if you find you get winded, stop for a few seconds and join in again. Very nice. What I personally love about the Maxi Climber, low impact, it weight bearing as we get older. We want to keep those bones strong and healthy. This is a great weight bearing exercise. All right, in 10 seconds, I'm going to take you into position two of your Maxi Climber workout. What position two is, is just a larger size step. I'm going to ask you to try three different sizes of step. The first one, which we just did for the warm-up, was a nice, small, tiny step. Again, your pace. Our second exercise, we just increase the size of the step just a little bit. It's more of a medium-sized step. So it's not as big as you can go, but it's a little bit bigger than what you were starting with. So as you'll notice, my tempo slowed down a bit as I'm taking that larger step. And again, another great feature is that you're working the biggest muscles in your body right now. The lower body, the buttocks, the hips, the thighs. Engaging those large muscles engages a lot of calorie burning. So, double amazing. All right, in five seconds, we're going to go for our largest step. So you're going to step a little bit deeper if you brush. Here we go. Deep, dig, dig. So to me, this feels like aerobic strength training. The same kind of range of motion that I would be doing in my squats and in my lunges, I'm now able to do on the maxi climber with less impact. And the only weight you need is your body weight. And again, increasing your range of motion is great because it gets your joints used to working in that range of motion, which helps increase your flexibility. Very nice. Big step. So this is position three of our six positions. And we'll be doing this circuit three times. So that's what we've got ahead of us. In 10 seconds, we're going to go into position four. You're going to like this because if you found this very challenging, we're going to go back into that smaller step, but we're going to add the upper body. Now, many of my clients, they love the grip where they're working their biceps more. And this is the grip that I'm using right now. So my palms are facing me, and they find this feels really good. Most of us have really strong biceps. So again, nice small positioning, little range of motion, and again, you're in control of your speed. If you find that's too fast, just slow down your steps. Not challenging enough? Whenever you want to add challenge to your workout, you increase the speed and you increase the size of your step. So it's truly like we're on a walking journey together, going up and over hills, changing the, 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 the terrain as we walk through. All right, guys, position five. Bigger step with the aid of the arm. Now for five, I'm going to change my hand grip. Pulling this a little bit more in the forearm. Awesome, a little bit more in the tricep, back of the arm. 
definitely a little bit more in the buttocks, hips, and thighs. And that's a good thing. Again, it's not our biggest stride. Position five, medium legs, medium arms. Awesome. Keep it moving. You got this. And again, in less than 20 minutes, you're gonna feel more energized. Be proud of your daily accomplishment. Because yes, we do need to move our body daily. In five, four, three, two, all right, here we go. Giant, big, big. I'm gonna turn my hands again. But again, that's your choice. And remember, maxi climber is fully adjustable. If you wanna have a higher reach on your arm, you've got the availability to do that as well. Just take your time. Nice, giant strides. You got your built-in butt lifting machine right here. Same time. You can feel that heart beating, so you're getting your cardiovascular fitness. And if this inspires you, in less than 30 seconds, we're gonna be back to position number one, which is a really nice recovery move after we've done this big giant stride. Stay with me. 10 more seconds of the giant stride. You got this. Three, two, one. Here we go. Cycle two of three. Very nice. So again, if you found position six very challenging, use this as your recovery step. Now we all have heard about high intensity interval training, and that is very much available to you with your maxi climber, where you can push super, super hard, and then you can recover. Right now, for those of you that are fit, this would be a nice recovery place after you've worked hard for that minute. And again, if you find that your heart rate's beating too fast, slow down the pace. Yeah, make it a true recovery. Take your time. So again, customize this. This is your workout. This is your 20 minutes of power. In three, two, we're on to position two. Here we go. A little bigger step. Awesome. Press, press, press. Adding a little bit of that upper body twisting. Feeling a bit of my obliques with this move. So it's always a good thing when you can work your abdominals. And again, low impact, weight bearing, so it's bone building friendly. Friendly for those of you like me, who may have had a knee replacement or a hip replacement, and you're looking for something with less impact on the body. It's a great choice. So good, keep pressing. In 15 seconds, we're going to keep our hands on the stabilizing bars, and we're going to go into our biggest step. And remember, this is your workout. Place your hands where you want. All right, here we go. If you're with me today, big giant steps. Again, that big giant step is one of the most effective ways to shape your buttocks, hips, and thighs. Nice big step. But again, work within your own comfort level. Very nice. Push, push, push. I love that I don't feel like I'm wasting a single, a single second on this workout. I'm feeling the big muscles of my body working, lubricating my joints, energizing my body. step. All right? We only have 15 more seconds left of the big step. And then we're going to go into those small steps with the little upper body. So again, a nice little recovery for the leg. In three, two, back to that small step. And this time I'm going to do the hands, my palms facing away. So again, add variety but just changing up your hand position, or do what you love. 
small. Looking so good. Warming up the body. Very nice. Keep it going. In 15 seconds, we're gonna make our step a little bit larger. Get ready for it. If you can, keep your hands on the upper body. Three, two, here we go. A little bit bigger, not our biggest step, somewhere in between. Fantastic. Again, we're in the, almost at the end of our second of three cycles. So we're past the halfway mark on our workout. Very good. Nice even strokes. Dig those heels. 30 more seconds in our medium stride. And then we're going to go for that big, big stride. Really targeting the whole body. Again, a very effective way to challenge your body from head to toe. In 10 seconds, get ready. Five, four, three, here we go. This is your one minute. Don't be afraid to challenge yourself. You can do this. Reach, reach, pump, pump. You can do this. Again, at any time, if you want to change that hand grip, I'm going to add some bicep strength here as I pull, pull, press. If you want to intensify, the way to intensify is to keep those steps giant and to pick up your tempo. In 30 seconds, we're going to start our last round. We're going to go one more time through those six exercises and your workout will be done. Stay with me, you can do this. The reward is coming up in 10 seconds. Tiny steps, supported arms. Three, two, here we go. This is our last cycle, guys. Six minutes left of your workout, that's it. So good. And again, you're in charge. You need to take a break. There's no motor. You're the motor. Stop and start at any time. It doesn't subtract the calories that you've already burned. Every movement is amazing. Keeping you on track. Like we're on a stroll. This is your new walking machine. This is your new running machine. So good. This is your butt firming machine. All right, in 15 seconds, we're gonna go into that medium-sized stride. You can do this. You should be nice and warm by now. All righty, here we go. One minute of that medium stride. So good, so good. Push, push, push. And again, with the bigger stride, you probably feel more activation into your abdominals. Go, go, go. Nice. We got 30 seconds left of this medium stride. Very nice. And I like this workout where we use different sizes of strides, incorporating the upper body, not the upper body. Keeps it interesting, keeps it changing. Very doable. In 10 seconds, guys, get ready for our biggest butt firming steps. One minute, three, two, and here we go. Stretch those legs down, down. Beautiful. Again, if you've ever wanted to firm up the buttocks a little bit more, this is your go-to. Firming the buttocks, calorie burning, Push, 
Again, if this is not intense enough, all you do is you pick up the speed. If it's too much, take a five or 10 second rest. That's okay. 30 seconds left in these giant steps. The best part about the 30 second uh, giant stepping, big movements, is that the next cycle is always those small, tiny recovery steps. Get ready. 10 more seconds. Five. So good. All right, back to those little steps. Last three minutes of our workout. Stay with me. Add in the upper body. And again, that's always an option. That's what's so great about working out at home. You're in charge. Every single step, every single movement. Very nice. And so it's great to have music playing while you exercise. Studies even show it challenges you a little bit more. Yet your workout doesn't feel harder when you add music. Often when your favorite song comes on, it inspires you just to go a little bit further. So for this workout, choose three or four of your favorite songs, plug them in, and let's work out together. In three, two, here we go guys, medium step. Last two minutes of our workout, you got this. Changing the hand grip just for variety. Waking up those bicep muscles again. Again, we're in position five. Medium sized step, medium sized reach, full body workout. Again, we are short on time. One of the number one reasons why people say they don't exercise, they don't have enough time. Well, in less than 20 minutes, we're gonna give you a great workout from head to toe, uber gentle on the joints amazing for firming up your buttocks, hips, and thighs. In this bicep curl position, I can really pull down and wake up my biceps. All right, guys, no matter where you are, this is your last minute of challenging exercise. So give me what you got, whether your hands, here we go, are on the stationary bars, or you decided to do the arms and legs together, Pick up your speed, last minute, challenge it out. And then we'll cool it down and you are done for the day. No guilty feeling about not working out, because you've done it. Reach, reach, go, go. Last 30 seconds, guys. I'm gonna pick it up a bit, just to really challenge my body. Go, go, go. seconds. You've got this. Earn the reward. Go, go. Ten more seconds. Drive into it. Five, four, three, two, and recover. So good. So amazing. Congratulations on your workout. Continue with the small step recovery cool yourself down, and if you've got that special occasion coming up, let's try this twice a day. Have a good one.